Well, Thera is a new technology, really, in aesthetic medicine because it uses what's called high-intensity focused ultrasound. And that enables us to deliver ultrasound energy harmlessly through the skin and focus it at a very precise layer underneath the surface. So as a plastic surgeon, that's very appealing to me because that's the layer we're really working on when we do things like facelifts and brow lifts. That's where all the strength is, and it's really a three-dimensional concept. So to be able to target that layer with something in a really specific way is, is something that's very appealing. It's not a replacement for surgery, uh, but there's a younger group of uh, patients, typically in their 40s, who really benefit from some lifting, uh, some maintenance kind of therapy. It might allow them to maybe push back the, the time uh, before they're going to need a facelift, uh, but it's something that really fills that kind of niche in the practice because it is that, that group of patients that really isn't ready for a facelift yet, but they, they need something that's going to give them a meaningful and effective result. So when we're treating the face with Ulthera, the layer we're targeting is called the SMAS. It's that layer of connective tissue where the muscles of expression are. It's very collagen rich, so it's a good target for us, and that's how we get that three-dimensional lifting and shaping of the face that we can't do with things that are only targeting the skin. Ulthera has been FDA approved since September of 2009. It's been in Asia and Europe for two years, and so there's really a very extensive clinical experience with it. Uh, but in the U.S. it's still a new thing and we're very excited about the potential for it. I think there are a number of uh, applications for it that uh, can potentially be uh, very useful and very effective and we're really just starting to explore that now.